Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's intriguing, isn't it? I'm going to leave it there as a clue and um, see if you can work it out. So today's video is, da -da -da -da. yeah, it's, you already know from the title, but today's video, I'm going to go through my favourite colouring supplies and see if I can pass anything useful on to you guys for little, you know, bits and pieces that are just so handy to have when you're colouring and that I really find make you know either really nicely finish my pages off or have made it easier for me to do what I want to do and do it quicker to be honest so um it's a bit of a, a, a toolsy kind of uh, video this but when I'm colouring I have a few odds and ends that I kind of have come to the realisation that I have to have if I run out I have to repurchase there if I have a few different things they're the version that I always grab that I think is better than the other stuff that I have and that just is my favorites really so we have my trusty little colouring glove especially when you're colouring with things like prismas that are going to go all over the place I got this glove free uh, with a Lemache marker set quite some time ago when I first started colouring and it's um, just a, a, a tiny little godsend really obviously you can make you know any glove old glove that you've got lying around you can use you can always even cut it down um, but they are easier sometimes than messing around with anything else so I do use mine and have found it quite useful to have so if you do get these in your colouring sets hang on to them don't just think oh my god what is that keep it yeah I think at first I thought it was a bit a bit silly but once you start using it you think ah okay they were right I get it they were correct so that is my first item we then have this essential little item um, this is a Teagal pencil sharpener. I get mine from Amazon and I like this because it's got five pencil settings. So five is your longest point and one is a shortest point. And obviously when your precious pencils need sharpening, I like to use up as little of my pencil as I can. So I use uh, the shortest setting. Uh, for sharpening my pencils and I'm only sad that I can't get my square brick furs in this so I do have to have a slightly bigger sized pencil sharpener for things like that but for everything else this little beauty works an absolute treat it's got a little reservoir to hold everything that you empty out at the back you can actually get clear versions of this which seem like a good idea because you can tell how full they're getting and I, I really like these. What I do is I keep an eye on them because every so often you'll get like a, a deal on a certain colour for some reason and I grab one when, whenever that happens. When one pops up at a cheap price I just grab my next spare and obviously as your blade blunts you do need to replace this once it starts chewing up your pencils. It's, it's no good. We then have an electric eraser. Um, this is a rechargeable version, which is quite handy. It's just one of the many, many different ones that look like this that you can get on Amazon. They're all basically the same when you get them. And the, what I like about this is it comes with lots of spare erasers, but in two sizes. There's the normal and then this very, very slim size version with their little holders to them. And you get a few spares and... Yeah, brilliant. And the difference between this and the Derwent is that obviously it holds rechargeable batteries and you just plug it in with a USB to charge it. Whew, had to go and answer the door there for a moment and it's, I'm out of puff. Right, um, we then have for backgrounds, I have a couple of favourite things um, that I do use and find to be really, really the thing that I sort of, you know, gravitate towards and 
go back to. I have a lot of different background media, but these seem to be my favourite choice. So we have different versions of gel crayons. I have gelatos, a couple of distress crayons, a big set of silky crayons, and this version of whatever this is, colourful. Can't remember what these were, but another cheap set from Amazon. Um, large set of gel crayons in a lot of colours. I use them dry with a craft or makeup brush. I know some people prefer the density of the makeup brush over the softer versions of the craft brushes. So if that is a thing for you, that's the only difference. You can get uh, makeup face brushes instead. They're... Um, like a, a softer more natural bristle over the nylon for the craft brushes um, I don't mind either though they work a treat and I use them dry from a palette and I really like using these in my background and probably the other thing that I use for things like that are my Posca paint pens. I like um, dotting with them. You know, if you're creating glitter and you're adding dots, I do like to do a black background and I have a few sizes of the black. And, you know, I have a, a few of the colours now, um, slowly um, building up a few different colours of Posca. And, yeah, they're not cheap. Um, there's lots of other versions out there. I just haven't really found any that last the same as the Posca. That you know the nibs don't get gunky, caked up, end up five minutes later. They're no use. Um, the Posca just seem to be more efficient. Is probably the word. And so far, the uh, favourite for me. So that is those. We then have our kind of more, um, you know, randomly used items for the page. And I have one more tool, um, a pencil extender. Um, I've got a couple of sizes of them because obviously I do have some bigger pencils. And a pencil extender is a useful item to have. I must admit I haven't used many of them, about twice, because I haven't been through my pencils yet. So I've got it ready, ready for the thing that happens. And then my embellishment items. I have my one, my only, my favourite, Glossy Accents. This is uh, by Ranger, so Tim Holtz Ranger Glossy Accents. Um, and it's an acid-free, non-toxic clear dimensional medium so i use it on my page to cover anything i want to shine so glass bottles and especially eyes i think they look really nice um with a bit of glossy accent over the top to give them that shine um, i like to embellish with a white gel pen and i quite like the oh hoo hoo at the moment from the set that i got i use a black um ink and I just these are v5 high tech point 0.5 I use those quite a lot uh, I bought a pack of them quite a while back and they're always a nice ink with a nice nib and they always perform very well and you can see um, the ink in this part of the barrel so you can see if you are running out um, I also do use, because you will notice there's no stickles in here, I'm not a big stickles person. I've got a bottle of it, I've got a few bottles of different colours of different things, but it leaves that textured raised surface which isn't always great in your books. So this is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle pen. Um, in the Crystal Clear I prefer them, you can buy these in a three pack, so just three are clear because I've tried the colours and really don't like them. I prefer to lay the clear over a coloured pencil if I need to. And these just, I mean, these give you some serious sparkle. So that's kind of enough for me. And then when you're talking, you know, sparkly gel pen, nothing beats the Pentel. Um, the Pentel Dual Metallic, I have almost all of the colours now. Um, these three I just pulled out as examples and these are 
which is beautiful, really. They're all dual tone, so obviously you do need to be careful what colour you lay down on your page because you think you're getting pink and what you're actually getting is pink that flashes purple. So you've got to check for them clashing, but um, they really do bang. Uh, bang? Uh, what was the word I was looking for? You know, uh, give you that, well, that big bang of glitter, really. They seriously pop. Um, and yeah, that is nearly me all done so all we've got left because obviously you guys know i'm a big pencil fan so you can't really not have some in here and to be honest if i was going to recommend and um love a pencil then you've got to go with the ones that are a budget pencil a very cheap set of pencils and yet perform surprisingly well so if you're in the market for cheap pencils, I really can't um, recommend enough the Brute Funa Squares. Now you need to like a slightly firmer pencil that will layer more than it will blend. Um, but I found these to work surprisingly well with the Amazon paper. And let's be honest, if we're buying budget pencils and we need budget items, we are very likely colouring on Amazon paper for the most part. Um, so these are one of the few pencils I've found that will not ruin your experience of that make it difficult, make your pages not quite turn out the way you want them to you can tell they're my most used pencils um, I always, they're out for projects that I'm working on that's why there's gaps everywhere um, and yeah I just I can't recommend them enough really you guys know how I feel and they, you really can't beat the price to be honest 120 pencils in the UK are usually going about 23 24 pounds and you know every colour you're going to need right there at your fingertips um, the only thing with these is you will need a larger sized pencil sharpener than the normal so buyer beware there and then two more items we have this pencil case and I'm saying this one in particular for one main reason uh, it's cute yes it's a pencil case and functions wonderfully yes but I take my stuff to work with me and I colour in my lunch um, more stays to be honest uh, just to relax in between seeing all those patients and I really like this because not only is it a pencil case but you can sit it on your desk and it is a pencil holder and I just find that that will hold all the pencils I need for my page I chuck my pencil sharpener and my electric eraser in it I pop it all the way up and I zip it short and it goes in my bag with my book and I can pop it down in my lunch and sit it in on the corner of the table next to me and they work wonderfully well there's lots of versions of this now on Amazon um, obviously they don't hold a billion pencils it's more for the travel aspect of it that makes it useful they're amazingly cute the little designs on them and there's yeah I've really found that I thought it was a bit gimmicky at first but I've actually found that to be rather useful and the one that I do grab over my others for when I'm going anywhere so there's that and then finally there's this odd item this is a cheap sketchbook that I bought from a local craft shop um, it's the works in the UK we all have and love those over here and this is their Crawford and Black um, scrapbooks and you get 72 sheets in it it's in A5 and I use this for um, collating combinations from the pencils I've used so whenever I do a page now for some time I will pop down the blends I've used what pencils they were and their colours and a lot of the time I will kind of make a little note of if I've used you know white gel pen or um, dew drop inks whatever I've popped on in the background little bits of information and I tend to now also put when I finish the page because you know that's why not it doesn't do any harm to have that information and um, yeah I've found this really useful for 
you know, going back and checking, you know, what kind of pencils I used, what what the colours were, the colour blends that I'm using a lot and I like, and that when I'm doing hair, you know, pulling up a colour blend that I particularly um, prefer. And it's worked really well and it's a little bit of a godsend, this little book. Uh, that kind of always sits next to me on my desk. I have been slowly sharing these with you. I do a few combinations with you guys each month. We do a few pages to slowly catch up with where I'm at. And um, I just, yeah, all my different pencil types and the combos I've used on the page. Because I think it's nice not to just see a combo sat like this. It's nice to see them on the page you worked on them with, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, this is one of those little things that a cheap little sketchbook that just worked perfectly for something that's turned into one of those little journal kind of items that, you know, is always nearby and really helpful. And I must remember to pick up another one ready because I like to be ready even though I've got about a thousand pages left. So yeah, I hope this has been slightly useful to you guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, apart from that, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and find it useful. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.